Hey everyone, I'm Trisha Swenson with Vale Valley Live and we're here in my closet giving you some tips on what to and what not to wear out on the slopes. Let's start with the basics, base layers. I got two words for you, cotton kills. So that favorite comfy sweatshirt you lounge around in a home is not gonna wick away the moisture, it's gonna keep you cold and clammy all day long. You'll want to go with fabrics that'll wick moisture away from your body so you'll stay warm and dry. Try brands like Smartwool, Icebreaker, Helly Hansen, Crimson Clover. Look for something that is antimicrobial too, which means that it takes care of the smell, which also translates into happier noses around you and less time doing laundry. Now that we're in the base layers, next up is your insulating layer. And this will depend on just how warm it is gonna be that day. You might want a fleece like this one from Spider with a quarter neck zip. You may want a sweater from Smart Wool, or you may want a fun little decorative piece like this one from Crimson Clover with the little gal on here. Whatever you choose, think about what you're gonna be doing that day. If you're gonna be just cruising, layer up. If you're doing moguls or skiing really hard, riding really hard, shed a layer. Up next, outer layers. And this is your ski or snowboard jacket, the pants to go with it. And it really depends on what the weather's gonna be like that day. On a warmer day, I will probably go with more of a shell. A soft shell would be perfect, like this one from Dina Fit. Or if it's a little bit cooler, I like insulated pants like this one and a down jacket. And this is from Skea. But if you are wearing down, I'll sometimes combine that with a wind stopper layer because sometimes the down doesn't stop the wind. So this is a good one from Mountain Hardware with wind stamper on it. And probably anything from Gore is gonna work too. Ah, but we cannot forget about the most important part. This is your feet. You do not need to wear two socks. Just one pair of thin socks is what works best. There are lots of great brands out there these days, like Smartwool, Fit, Darn Tough, Wigwam, that are thin and made out of moisture wicking fabric and are antimicrobial. So once again, you won't stink. Gloves or mittens? It's really just personal preference, but whatever you do, I would invest in a good pair of gloves that maybe have some Gore-Tex in them because you don't realize how much your hands sweat and that perspiration needs to work its way out of the glove or the mitten. And Gore-Tex does a great job of keeping the elements, maybe the snow, the rain, out while letting your perspiration escape. And if your hands get really cold, maybe just get a pair of these. These are hand warmers that'll fit in your gloves and mittens. And if you really suffer from cold hands, invest in some heated gloves. Want to stay warm on the really cold days? Here's what you need. A balaclava, not baklava. That's the layered pastry dessert from the Ottoman Empire. You're gonna want this. This is part neck gaiter, part hat, and it's thin enough that it fits below the helmet. Now, if you've got your hat that's chunky threads, it's got a palm on it, all that kind of stuff, your helmet is not gonna fit properly. So, you wanna make sure that you wear something thin underneath the helmet. And speaking of helmets, this is not a graduation cap. So it doesn't fit back here. You want it to fit right above the eyebrows and then cinch it up. Make sure you're strapped in and ready to go. Now that you have your helmet, you gotta think about the goggles. And you want a goggle that's gonna fit nice and snug up to the brim of the helmet. You don't want that gaper gap right between your forehead gets that ice cream headache. So if you're buying one or the other, bring, bring your helmet into the goggle shop or your goggles into the helmet shop so you can make sure they fit together. And when you are buying goggles, get a pair that has the exchangeable lenses. This comes with a dark lens for the sunny days and a light lens for the cloudy days. Really easy to exchange that on the fly. And finally, pack a hat in the backpack or your pocket because we all know you're gonna get helmet hair. So try this one. Cute one with a nice palm from Ski Girl. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go.